ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಂವರ್ಮಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಸ್ವದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ನಾಮ ಆಲಿಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಿ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾಪಿಶಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಣು ಜಾತಿಪುರೇತಾಗಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಹಣೋತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತಗುಂಹ ದೇವಮಾತ್ಮಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಮುಕ್ಷುರ್ವೈ ಶರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಆಮ್ರಾಯಾಂತಿಕ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧಮಾದಿ ಮಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಹರಮಾಪೂರ್ಣಮಾತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೇ we looked at the 14th sutra arupavad devahi tat pradhanatvat tasya nirgunasya nirvisheshasya brahmana pradhanatvat arupavad devahi brahma nirvishesham evahi indeed or you can say hi asmat yataha tat this nirguna nirvishesha brahma is pradhana therefore tasya pradhanatvat arupava devahi meaning it is not saguna which is pradhana but nirguna which is pradhana otherwise you cannot interpret the nirguna shrutis the nirguna brahma shrutis cannot be interpreted unless you see that as a tatpare vishaya and then with upadhi you can say nirguna brahma without leaving its nirgunatvam without actually taking up gunas appears to be saguna then you can interpret all shrutis so that is the sutra artha here as to nirguna arupavad eva hi definitely rupadi hi na nirvishesha nirguna brahma e itself is it atpare vishaya that alone should be taken as the meaning in the primary sense in the literal sense only nirguna brahma neha nana sikinchana these kind of statement should be taken into consideration as it atpare vishaya neti niti as the prakriya to land on that and savishesha is accepted only by anuvada it is just paraphrasing shruti is just paraphrasing what is the anubhava of the jiva vritti rupadi hinam arupavad is not used but the meaning is what rupadi hinam so i have underlined that as paraphrasing of the sutra shabda no uh, meaning needs to be given meaning uh, rupadi hina is not necessarily the meaning of arupavad arupavad literally with nanj will be rupadi hina itself so it is uh, something like a same word so you can read as arupavad what is arupavad rupadi hinam that is nirvishesham brahma which is without any vishesha nirguna brahma nirvishesham eva brahma avadharitavyam this is what one should understand as the meaning tatpare vishaya of all shrutis when you take brahma as uh, explained by the shruti whether it is saguna or nirguna then the meaning of saguna should not be taken in a literal sense only nirguna brahma meaning should be taken as tatpare vishaya in the literal sense why so <coughs> na savishesham why not saguna brahma has the meaning kutah so pakshapata why such pakshapata purva pakshi etc so reasoning has to be given kutah astula mityadi nisheda shastrasya nirguna brahma pradhanatva tityartha because you see astula the negation is done in the shruti by saying astulam it is saying not stula when you have taken stulatva as the guna as one vishesha that is being negated why would shruti negate something which is valid if savishesha saguna had been valid then shruti would never have negated by saying neha nanasti kinchana 
neti neti astulam with a nunj negation has been done so negation will supersede any value that you are giving to gunas because the guna has been negated it has been accepted earlier and then negated if acceptance is the final goal then negation will make no sense at all it will invalidate that kind of a shruti thereby astulam shows that negation is the methodology to land on the nirgunatva of brahma sagunas all gunas are negated astulam ityadi nisheda shastras the nisheda shastra which is negating the reality of saguna brahma tasya shastrasya nirguna brahma pradanatva through that what is it landing upon tatparya is nirguna brahma to land on nirguna brahma gunas have to be negated the stated gunas have to be negated and negation is a process to land on nirguna brahma and thereby nirguna brahma will become pradhana and saguna brahma will become gauna it is not really so it is accepted because anubhava shows that atma so here we have to take the meaning of atma if you take anubhava anubhava of atma is oh, i have sharira gunas i have uh, antakarana gunas i have mano guna as well as i have buddhi gunas so these are the thinking i have a gender i am an intellectual or a dullard i am an emotional person all these are anubhuta experienced by a person therefore shruti accepts that initially by anuvada by just repeating what you already take yourself as otherwise you cannot hand out initially itself you say it is not so nothing will be understood so the journey is from saguna to nirguna and brahma also similarly it takes as because you are a jiva who has a samsari who is a samsari therefore at the samashti level these vyashtis have to be managed therefore samsara has to be created that kind of a prapancha for that uh, brahma is jagat karta he is the uh, jagat srishti sthiti and laya karana he is karma phala data that kind of ishwara ishwara bhava is superimposed on nirguna brahma by imagining a maya shakti by the shastra itself no individual is imagining shastra veda itself imagine such a thing so that we understand and then it says that we the samsaris are blessed by ishwara and by worshiping that ishwara methodology is given how you how we can come out of that kind of a uh, samsara which we take to be real how we can come out step wise and thereby a setup is made a methodology is made and then finally we land upon the nisheda shastra which shows that brahma is not really jagat srishti sthiti laya karana because there is no real prapancha out there we are not samsaris we are abhinna from brahma so step wise shruti does hand hold hand holding and thereby nisheda shastra is validated only if you take nirguna brahma as it atpare vishaya otherwise nisheda shastra will have no meaning because we think that brahma is saguna that time we cannot say oh this nisheda vakya should be taken as what we cannot interpret also why would shruti negate something you, if you cannot say, say gauna also based on what guna is the nisheda being done in fact based on uh, no gunas to land on no gunas nisheda is being done so there is no gauna there gaunatva has to be based on some guna you say it is secondary based on a particular guna you have to give some secondary status so guna can be given secondary status based on all these gunas which are upadi gunas so upadi gunas are seen in that which never had an upadi also thereby we can say it is gauna but if you take saguna brahma as pradhana and nirguna brahma has to be understood then nirguna brahma cannot be understood at all because nisheda cannot be done if guna has to be retained gunas cannot be negated astul its itself all the shruti will become apramana and that is not ishta to any astika iti artha upasana vakyanam savisheshatve tatparya bhavat purva pakshiyas what about these upasana vakyas as to 
earlier he has quoted many of these as to uh, what sarvakamaha sarvagandha sarvarasah ityadi so brahma is sarvakama sarvagandha sarvarasah what about those shrutis how will you validate those how will they become pramanika to that siddhanti says upasana vakyana those upasana vakyas are meant for upasana upasana gives you some phala that phala is not nitya so any thing ordained by the shruti if you do it in a particular manner then you will get a particular phala therefore upasana vakyanam savisheshatve tatparyasya abhavat there is no tatparya there the savish savisheshatvam is only for a particular phala that particular phala will not stay it is anitya phala so upasana will make the mind quite focused to understand the nisheda shastra and land on nirguna brahma so for that upasanas are needed and some phala is promised by the shruti which will be given which is adrushta drushta phala is ekagrata we see the mind becoming focused when we meditate or do upasanas that is drushta phala adrushta phala is when shruti says that on doing this upasana hiranya garbha or some ishta devata prapti will be there some loka prapti will be there. that will be after the drop of the body it is all adrushta it is retained till the phala is ripe for fructification after dropping this body therefore savisheshatva has no tatparya brahma having savisheshatva is not the tatparya it is not a statement of fact it is a statement of vyavaharika satta where whereby as long as one retains the sharira and considers oneself as a shariri does upasana and considers that without this tula sharira also i'll have sukshma sharira which will travel to another loka and get this phala so long these uh, upasana vakyas will have meaning and a purpose but they are not going to be retained as the definition of brahma what kind of brahma that brahma which you really are says the shruti in tattvamasi that brahma is not saguna because we with our own upadhi is considering that we have the sukshma sharira and stool sharira cannot become ishvara we will always be samsaris with upadhis with siddhi sam siddhi also we can do a particular thing but not everything that ishvara can do is therefore sarvajnyatvam sarvakaryatvam sarvakamatvam sarvagandhatvam sarvarasatvam all these will are not going to be possible for any jiva however great that jiva is how many ever janma that jiva takes it is not going to be possible to get the real ishvara bhava as real meaning the ishvara bhava as presented by the shruti meaning tending to infinity that kind of tending to infinity with the sharira is not possible in the vyavaharika satta it is not going to be possible in paramartha it is possible not only possible it is already there praptasya prapti hi jnane na bhavati therefore upasana vakyas are only meant to give upasana phala not to define brahma they have no tatparya there to say that brahma is of this type brahma is to be seen as this type is the tatparya there not Uh, uh brahma being so in fact brahma is nirguna but if you imagine this kind of a guna as presented by the shruti or as imagined by the shruti you don't have to imagine uh, shruti says that i have imagined these gunas for brahma if you the upasaka does this kind of upasana then this is the phala i promise to give you thereby tatparya is not there in savisheshatva but only nirvisheshatva now the puro pakshi says if i accept uh, the, that savisheshatva is the tatparya itself then what is the issue i can do that just like you have assumed nirguna is the tatparya i'll say saguna is the tatparya how about that to that siddhanti se tat tat tatparya angikare vakya bheda patte hai then what will happen there will be vakya bheda vakya bheda is a dosha in mimamsa a single set of upasanas can cannot have different meanings meaning a single vakya vakya does not mean sentence here vakya means uh, vakya literally means sentence but in mimamsa vakya can be across multiple sentences also group together they will give single shabda bodha 
शब्दबोध वाक्य बोध दैट उपासना कांड वॉट इज इट इट्स पर्पस वॉट इज दी तात्पर्य ऑफ दैट उपासना इफ यू एनलाइज देन मल्टीपल वाक्याज मे कम टूगेदर एंड वेन मल्टीपल वाक्याज एक्रॉस मेनी शाखाज ऑल्सो इफ दे कम टूगेदर एंड बिल्ड अप अ पर्टिक्युलर उपासना टू बी डन इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर मैनर फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर फला दिस काइंड ऑफ एन अधिकारी शुड डू इट इन दिस मैनर इट शुड बी डन देर बाय ऑल ऑफ दी क्वेश्चन्स एज टू वॉट शुड बी डन वॉट इज टू बी अटेंड हाउ इट इज टू बी अटेंड एंड इन विच मैनर इट इज टू बी अटेंड इति कर्तव्य था ऑल दीज विल किम भावेत केन भावेत एंड कथम भावेत दीज आर द्री क्वेश्चन एंसर्ड एज टू साध्य साधन एंड इति कर्तव्य था वी सॉ दिस इन वॉट एवर लिटिल वी सॉ ऑफ अर्थसंग्रह so when we see that section of upasana then what is the tatparya that tatparya can be one phala there it is not in the in the gnana kanda it is in the upasana kanda so it will give some upasana phala and anything related to that upasana is the tatparya vishaya there now if you say savisheshatva the vishesha which are discussed in the upasana that is the tatparya vishaya then it cannot have the अधिकारी फला एक्सेट्रा द वे वी हैव अंडरस्टूड इन दी उपासना यू के नॉट हैव टू काइंड ऑफ फला देर फोर तत्पर्य अंगीकार वाक्य भेद आपत्ति देर बी आपत्ति ऑफ वाक्य भेद दी वाक्य विल बी सेगमेंटेड वन सेगमेंट गिविंग वन पर्टिक्युलर मीनिंग अनदर सेगमेंट गिविंग अनदर मीनिंग दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल इन मीमांसा शास्त्र यू के नॉट हैव सच वाक्य इतरे शाम हाउ सो That is explained as इतरेशाम सविशेष वाक्यानाम प्रत्यक्षादि सिद्ध प्रपंचानुवाद कत्वेन निरिविशेष परत्वात because we have already established in the first chapter when we discuss समन्वय and establish समन्वय and in the second chapter how we discounted all the विरोधास not being possible to समन्वय in ब्रह्म निर्गुण ब्रह्म and Finally, into the aikya with atma, jiva atma, that samanvaya in nirguna brahma being the tatparya of all shruti vakyas, upasana kanda is also included there. The methodology is vaya giving phala, vaya giving uh, uh, ekagrata, vaya giving vairagya for a person who is not interested in this kind of an anitya phala. they become means to land on the mumukshutva and leading to jnana they will they will give mukti so itaresham itaresham kesham itaresham upasana vakyanam itaresham upasana vakyanam savishesha vakyanam these are what savishesha vakyas which are upasana vakyas and if you take other than upasana vakyas also it is possible where savisheshatva is discussed but we have already established that savishesha vakyas are for upasanas so we will take savishesha vakya which are in upasana kanda tesham itaresham savishesha vakyanam pratyakshaadi siddha prapancha anuvadakatvena and those savishesha vakyas which discuss about that brahma which is appearing in the form of this prapancha also as virat purusha if the upasana is mentioned then these lokas you see this trilokya shariri so trilokya shariri includes this this loka also other lokas may not be pratyaksha in this uh, upadhi in this sharira but we'll say this loka this prapancha is pratyaksha siddha so pratyakshaadi siddha prapancha anuvadakatve we'll just take one part it can have multiple meanings as what savishesha vakyas can also be seen as non upasana vakyas which are what uh, this jagat kartrutva etc so which jagat this jagat which is prapancha which is pratyakshaadi siddh pratyaksha anumana etc pramanas can be used regarding this world and we can say this prapancha is the karya of whichever entity that is the savishesha brahma the jagat karta brahma this is what the shruti reveals but the prapancha as karya is pratyakshaadi siddha shruti is only talking about that as the sharira or karya of ishwara parabrahma and then thereby that parabrahma is becoming savishesha only 
as an anuvada because we know no other nyaya we have absolutely no knowledge of any other nyaya than what what is pratyaksha siddha so we'll say if the palatial mansion is a karya somebody has to have created it multiple people may have created it definitely multiple people have created it not me because it is very unlikely that a palace will be built up by built up by a single person so we'll say an architect is involved many laborers are involved engineers are involved civil engineers and uh, everything else that comes together as a supporting means we'll say electrical engineer all these you know plumbing plumbers and all all of that can be put together and we can imagine as many people as needed to have contributed to such a palatial mansion now with that example this prapancha is a karya is a product it has to be put together by someone has has made been made by someone and by many this is what we will assume without any pramana from from shruti saying that there is one creator not many creators by logic will land on somebody has to have created it because this akanksha is there and we already analyze it that since the there is a prapancha out there outside out there which is objectified by my sense organs pratyakshadi siddha and then based on that i can use logic also pratyaksha ityadi become pramana and adi padena anumana also become pramana based on pratyaksha there why what is established is prapancha outside that's yes there is definitely a prapancha outside and since it is objectifiable and it cannot have come together on its own there has to be some karta for this who is that karta or multiple kartas as an anuvada shruti says yes there is one jagat karta called ishwara that one plays the role of architect also of all laborers also of all plumbers also all civil engineers also of all that you expect to be to create such a world all that is played uh, all the roles are played by a single entity who is ishwara param brahma so it is an anuvada it is as we expect something in keeping with that an answer is given so that our inquiry into that aspect of the pursuit goes away and we further our pursuit into oh who is that ishwara what is my relation with him what is the relation of that ishwara with prapancha etc we can answer the other questions now we can raise other questions and inquire into it till such an inquiry is not conclusive till then upasana karma ityadi are prescribed by the same shastra which reveals ishwara as an anuvada as savishesha to help us land on nirvishesha in the end therefore they are also what as an anuvada since they are an anuvada they are just repeating what we already know in one way or the other maybe not accurately but we have some idea some assumption as to there has to be something backing this even in science those who are nastikas even in science they'll say oh this kind of a hypothesis has to be accepted till proven also you have to until proven or disproven you have to accept such a hypothesis uh, uh, this is kind of a presentation that any researcher will come up with he'll say this has to be accepted otherwise what they are using arthapatti otherwise this kind of a resultant is not possible so our experiments show that since such set of results are available we can assume that this kind of a thing has been taking place in the background some kind of gravity or something for example is aditya l1 which has been launched by bharat desha isro so the the l1 l1 point is where uh, the gravity gravitational forces of both the sun as well as the earth is balanced so much so even if there it is uh, you know uh, not a stationary uh, this thing you know it, it is not a stationary point so to say it is a changing point still the fuel needed for fuel needed to be burned for this aditya l1 to be kept into a particular place that particular l1 area in that orbit around the l1 area the fuel consumed should be or burned should be minimal and still give the same results of 
observing the sun without the uh, you know without uh, eclipses etc forbidding such a vision line of sight so uh, that for that analysis to come true meaning even without any practical examination out there where you want to send this uh, aditya l1 with set of devices and measuring instru measurement instruments for that even to be valid you have to put a hypothesis together otherwise you can cannot end up spending what 450 crores of public money you have to justify that for that whatever calculations are done those calculations which lead to such gravitational hypothesis that is also made possible by whichever entity <clears throat> that is ishwara that system is possible meticulously such gravitational forces are working together so that the universe is the way in which it is is because of ishwara this is what the shastra is saying so we are not against science in that manner we are not discounting science science is vyavaharika vyavaharika satta everything is acceptable but all of this hypothesis also has to be accepted that kind of a presentation of a scientist or a researcher is based on some calculations which are pratyakshadi siddha so the prapancha which is pratyakshadi siddha the anuvada is what old has to be accepted so even if you make it as a rule that hypothesis becomes an axiom or rule later saying that no this has to be accepted why because otherwise all of these are not going to be possible therefore pratyakshadi siddha prapancha anuvadaka is the hypothesis there the researches paper is based on some set of data which is pratyakshadi siddha that kind of a prapancha is the basis and whatever has been stated there by the hypothesis based on which you have built up such uh, you know uh, huge uh, projects all of that is similar here if you see and extend it here pratyakshari siddha prapancha anuvadakatvena nirvishesha paratva leading to what is it it is nirvishesha paratva we it is just accepting that pratyakshari siddha prapancha is in this manner therefore something should be backing that is the hypothesis that shruti is making yes we agree with uh, shruti is agreeing with the hypothesis that we have what is our hypothesis since the prapancha pratyakshadi siddha prapancha is out there all these gravitational forces are working in this manner somebody has to have put them together science goes only to that extent why is this so how much is the value all that measure whatever is measurable ishwara is beyond that will always remain consciousness will always remain beyond uh, science no matter what it cannot be measured because the measurer is, is the consciousness is the measurer itself it will always be the measurer will always remain try, we, one will try to make it as a part of experiment but will always stand outside anyway uh, i'm going further aside the example is to only show that how hypothesis has to be accepted shruti is saying okay we i accept this hypothesis that there has to be a creator there has to be someone who has put together otherwise things cannot come together on their own science will say they, they they cannot come together on the own something some energy something is working behind what is that so whatever happened at big bang they'll try to analyze and something out there is still unknown that unknown entity we are inquiring into as to how it makes this gravitation forces work together so at the macro level at the micro level subatomic level also they'll analyze and say this is the same thing that is happening at the micro macro level also at the samashti level so such kind of a hypothesis the way the, the manner in which they have landed scientists human beings also as a general uh, populace we have also landed on a conclusion that somebody has to have created something which is working together in a particular fashion even ai artificial intelligence is working together because there is a real intelligence backing that who created that and made such a learning possible with data so there is a real conscious entity backing it similarly here there is a real conscious entity who is called as ishwara and through that accepting that 
such an ishwara exists because you see this prapancha which is pratyaksha adi siddha but pratyaksha is not a pramana to nirguna brahma which is really your swarupa and thereby nirvishesha paratva it is committed to nirvishesha brahma by accepting hypothetically right now okay as a hypothesis when we walk through we'll negate it finally saying that there is no such prapancha there is no such samsara which is real therefore you don't need ishwara who is real because you the samsari is as a samsari you are not real you are tat tvam asi you are tat tvam you are tat that brahma which is nirguna brahma so with the upadhi is being discounted the sachidananda brahma that remains is atma sachidananda brahmaatma is the swarupa so tadananyatvam ityadina prapancha mithyatva sadana cha and what is this uh, brahma prapancha pratyakshaadi siddha prapancha what is it it is dependent on tat tad ananyatva prapancha how is it nirvishesha para all is pratyakshaadi siddha prapancha anuvadakatvena savishesha vakya how are these vakya nirvishesha para because it says that this prapancha that you see is what isha vasyam idam sarvam it is all pervaded by ishwara so the satta that you see in prapancha is brahma satta the chaitanya sentient beings that you see there the sentience that you see in the prapancha is brahma sentience it is the brahma chaitanya the ananda that you see in the vishayas across the prapancha is all brahma ananda therefore tad ananyatvam there is a dependent existence there is a dependent consciousness sentience there is a dependent ananda it is not independent on its own prapancha is jada is nama roopatmaka is not at all different from brahma and from atma perspective if you see also unless we open up our sense of organs to the prapancha there cannot be a prapancha so taking cue from the adhikaranas which have gone by the adhikarana which went by established this tvam padartha so tvam padartha is the avastha traya bhinna or avastha traya avastha traya jagra swapna susupta bhinna jeeva that jeeva who is separate from the waker dreamer and the deep sleeper who pervades all three who makes all three possible that is the real swarup of jeeva therefore tad ananyatvam the waker is not different from the the waker is different from the dreamer the waker is different from the deep sleeper the dreamer is different from the waker who does not know the waker at all they don't know each other they do not know each other because if the dreamer knows the waker he will know him as sleeping in the bed he does not know he knows that i am the one who is waker really he does not even consider himself as a dreamer so the waker and dreamer don't know each other the deep sleeper definitely does not know waker or dreamer and they do not know the deep sleeper at all however one who knows all three and knows that all of these three are non different from me but i am different from these so it is not a mathematical equation as to a is equal to b therefore b is equal to a it means that a is a meaning this prapancha prapancha gata waker dreamer deep sleeper and this entire prapancha meaning the sharira basically all the shariras are not different from brahma because they are all having their existence etc bhana satta bhana ityadi ananda only due to brahma that is atma when i wake up then only i give them satta when i get into this dream state i wake up to the dream then alone this prapancha swapna prapancha becomes real otherwise without my giving it validity none of this is valid srishti is not really valid unless i validate it that i atma is my reality sachidananda that is sachidananda brahma as finally taught by the shruti so tadananyatvam meaning being non different from that but i am not limited to these so brahma gives them their existence and bhana therefore the entire prapancha is dependent on brahma however brahma is not dependent on them without the three roles also of waker dreamer and deep sleeper brahma exists as atma 
without the sharira traya also brahma exists to be without avastha traya without panchakosha without sharira traya also brahma continues to be as atma therefore there is a is equal to b but b brahma is not is equal to a or prapancha or shariras thereby tadananyatvam ityadina through the statements such as prapancha is not different from brahma sarvam khalvidam brahma ityadina prapancha mithyatva sadhana ch what has dependent existence is mithya mithya means what what is not real but appears to be it is not completely unreal but it is not real yet appears what is completely unreal is what does not appear also like shashashringa vandya putra however prapancha is mithya meaning it has dependent existence as long as some some entity which is atma some jeeva gives it validity till then it will have appearance so there is appearance prapancha is mithya prapancha mithya to sadhana ch न सविशेषत्व ब्रह्म देर फोर ब्रह्म इज नॉट सविशेष इट इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म निर्विशेष ब्रह्म देर बाय न सविशेषत्व ब्रह्म प्राणिक भाव देर फोर दिस प्रपंच प्रत्यक्षादि सिद्ध प्रपंच अनुवाद बीइंग डन बाय श्रुति इज जस्ट पैराफ्रेजिंग अवर अनुभव दैट इज नॉट दि तात्पर्य बिकॉज पैराफ्रेजिंग समथिंग इज नॉट प्रमाण इट डज नॉट हैव प्राणम so savishesha which is paraphrasing the savishesha vakyas which are paraphrasing our own anubhavas is not the tatparya of the shruti is not pramana also what is known already known if shruti is stating is that is not a pramana vakya at all what is not known in that amsha shruti is pramana therefore shruti has pramanya in nirvishesha which is not known to us if shruti says you are without the sharira you are that tompada artha which is the sakshi of the avastha traya which is separate from the five koshas in the, the, such vakyas are pramana because they are not they are revealing something which is unknown to us this pratyaksha siddha prapancha which is being discussed by the shruti that is already known it is just telling you the methodology how it is there how it you know some story as to how this ha- all ha- this has come together and they are all contradictory to each other one shruti will say it has come up in this manner another shruti will say it has come up in another manner prana is the source etc different words are used which we will see as brahma all right but none of them are literally so they are all uh, stories to land on a single tatparya which is nirvishesha brahma nanu tarhi savishesha shruti nam ka gati rityata then what about the savishesha shruti is what are i mean if if they are not pramanika then what is the meaning to these uh, vakyas so the sutrakara says prakash vachavayartham prakash vachavayartham meaning kagate meaning uh, if they have no meaning then they will be futile they will be all purposeless but savishesha vakya should have some purpose otherwise shruti cannot be said to be any shruti cannot be said to be purposeless you have to say uh, arthavada also you have to say arthavada to glorify the karma arthavada vakya so some meaning has to be given you cannot say they are meaningless so what is the meaning so sutrakara says prakashavat cha avayartham avayartham meaning not futile not purposeless they have purpose how prakashavat like prakasha what is the role of prakasha we'll see it's a short vritti so i'll not repeat that in the uh, so there is a typo here it is not 3.2.5 obviously it is 3.2.15 one is missing there yatha suryaadi prakasha vakra vamshadyupadina vakra iv rajjur iv bhavati we have seen this kind of an example earlier also the prakasha appears to be vakra etc the light is what we see science says that what you see is light so what is really happening is that when you look at the object ghadapatadi here the example of rajju rajju is given so the light is having no shape really light is all pervasive this uh, the sunlight which is lighting up the entire area or you will take the light of the bulb also which is lighting up the entire room what we see is the light on the ghata 
or here example raju a rope so the rope is curved the light appears to be curved the upadhi of raju curved upa curved raju upadhi makes the light appear to be curved but light is not really curved so curvature is not the vishesha or guna of light of prakasha similarly there is no vishesha so what is the use of this savishesha vakya they are not futile light has a purpose the curved light also has a purpose to light up if you say oh light is curved yeah it appears to be curved what is the purpose its purpose is to appear curved so that the raju appears curved we are going to finally see light and it will be seen as reflected from the curved raju therefore what we see is a curved light yatha suryadi prakashah vakra anshadhi upadhina vakra iva raju riva bhavati तदवत सिमिलरली वॉट ब्रह्म अभी पृथ्वीयादि उपाधिवशा तत्तकारमेवती सो दिस प्रत्यक्षादि सिद्ध प्रपंच विच इज नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म एपियर्स टू बी इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ वॉट एवर इज प्रत्यक्षादि सिद्ध प्रपंच दैट प्रपंच इज पृथ्वीयादि इत्यादि घटपटादि प्रपंच पृथ्वी पृथ्वीलोक पृथ्वीलोक और यू कैन टेक पृथ्वी पदार्थ ऑल्सो पृथ्वी जल इत्यादि so with the upadhi of prithvi brahma appears to be prithvi with the upadhi of jala brahma appears to be as jala because brahma is just lighting up that whatever is the aakara of prithvi ityadi tat tad aakaram eva bhavati the jnana that takes place that jnana is in what chaitanya itself is in that aakara jnana is what jnana mukhyartha of jnana is chaitanya chit because jnana is lakshana of brahma satyam jnana manantam brahma there jnana is the lakshana of brahma it is a very definition of brahma wherever there is jnana wherever there is jnana it is nothing but chaitanya roopa brahma therefore tat tad aakaram the vritti roopa jnana that takes prithvi aakara jala aakara vritti that is all chaitanya chaitanya taking the prithvi aakara as do so tat tad aakara why as do eva eva bhavati as do it is not really changing brahma while you while we see the prapancha as prithvi पृथ्वी जल इत्यादि दी ब्रह्म चैतन्य आल्सो अपीयर्स टू बी इन दैट मैनर एंड दैट इट्सेल्फ इज ज्ञान वृत्याकार ज्ञान इव भवति तादृश औपादिकाकारः सविशेष श्रुतिनां गतिरिति तासाम अवयर्थ अवयर्थम निरर्थकत्व भाव इत्यर्थ सो अवयर्थ मींस व्हाट इट इज नॉट पर्पसलेस मीनिंग व्हाट इट इज पर्पसफुल निरर्थकत्व अभाव मीनिंग absence of purposelessness meaning purposefulness so they are also having a purpose savishesha shrutinam ka gati hi savishesha shrutinam ka gati hi gati is what gati is there what is the gati tadrusha aupadika aakaraha savishesha shrutinam gati so when upasana is taught see brahma in this manner see brahma as as trilokya shariri then what is the uh, purpose of that shruti if puro pakshi was to ask oh, it is purposeless then no it is it has a purpose what is that pur- the purpose to see brahma in this akara that itself is a purpose of that shruti in upasana you see brahma having this akara which brahma the which brahma which is nirguna by very nature if understood if not understood then you take it uh, as it is having that akara but the question is being asked by someone who is told that brahma is nirguna not saguna nirvishesha not savishesha so to that person that puro pakshi who is saying oh then then savishesha vakya has no use it has a use what is the use see that nirguna or nirvishesha brahma in this manner as lighting up this kind of an akara of that brahma tadrsha aupadika akara that upadhi krita akara upadhi is what the trilokya sharira trilokya sharira that is the upadhi in that manner brahma is appearing when you look at it you have got some kind of a phala so savishesh isuti nam gati hi that is the meaning or purpose of that that is the meaning gati can be seen as avagati jnana uh, meaning of that shruti and uh, of such shrutis do shrutis savishesh shrutis have that kind of a meaning therefore what tasam shruti nam सविशेष श्रुति नाम अवयर्थ्यम देर इज नो पर्पसलेसनेस देर फोर देर इज पर्पसफुलनेस निरर्थकत्व अभाव इत्यर्थ 
ननु कीदृशं निर्विशेषं ब्रह्म इत्यताह व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज दिस निर्विशेष ब्रह्म इन दैट केस आह च तन्मात्रम आह च तन्मात्रम आह च तन्मात्रम तन्मात्रम मींस व्हाट ओनली दैट चिदेव चिन्मात्रम चिन्मात्र इज अ समासा टू इन व्हिच मीनिंग चित एव ओनली चित सो व्हेन यू से ओनली चित देन दिस मात्र काइंड ऑफ अ वर्ड इज एडेड टू इट इन समासा इट बिकम्स तन्मात्रम तद्मात्रम तत् तदेव तन्मात्रम दैट अलोन मीनिंग व्हाट निर्विशेष व्हाट डज इट मीन निर्विशेष निर्विशेष ब्रह्म सो इट मींस ओनली दैट व्हाट इज दैट लक्षण व्हाट एवर इज गिवन ओनली दैट सो वी विल सी इन द वृत्ति आई जस्ट फिनिश दिस क्विकली एंड वी विल स्टॉप हियर स यथा सैंधव घनो अनंतरो बाह्यो कृष्णः रसघन एव एवं वा अरे अयम् आत्मानंतरो बाह्यः कृष्णः प्रज्ञान घन एव इति श्रुति ही तन्मात्रम चैतन्यमात्रम सो तन्मात्रम इज चैतन्यमात्रम चिदेव चिन्मात्रम चैतन्यमात्रम ओनली कॉन्शियसनेस प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस नथिंग एल्स एंड दैट इज एग्जिस्टेंट कॉन्शियसनेस देयरफॉर सच्चित एंड आनंद दैट इटसेल्फ इज अनंत इट इज नॉट लिमिट लिमिटेड चैतन्य इट इज लिमिटलेस सत्ता एंड चैतन्य देयरफॉर सत्ता चैतन्य एंड आनंद अनंत ऑल हैव same padartha it is not guna it is one single consciousness which is existent and which is endless chaitanya matram swaprakasham which lights up others and does not need any uh, chaitanya to reveal it itself chidekarasam which is ekarasa it is one single homogeneous indivisible chaitanya that is the meaning of nirvishesha iti ah आह च बाय व्हाट श्रुति इज इट मेंशन इन दैट मैनर सो स यथा सैंधव घन सैंधव घन मींस इफ यू लुक एट अ लंप ऑफ सॉल्ट लंप ऑफ सॉल्ट इज जस्ट सॉल्ट और इफ यू टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ समुद्र जल आल्सो समुद्र जल इज सॉल्टी इन व्हिच अंश इज इट सॉल्टी इट इज सॉल्टी थ्रू एंड थ्रू सो विद दैट एग्जांपल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लंप ऑफ सॉल्ट सो इफ यू लुक एट अ लंप ऑफ सॉल्ट द लंप ऑफ सॉल्ट इज is completely salty it is not that one ounce is salty where is the salt in that it is not a saltness is it a guna of that it the salt itself is completely salty therefore what sayatha saindava ghana ha you see that it is completely full of salt anantara abhaya so similarly what this brahm and anantara abhaya there is no inside there inside there is a salt outside there is no salt that kind of a thing krishna rasaghana also If you say a particular taste is there, that taste is through and through. You know, in when it, anything that is tasty, that we are saying it is tasty. It is tasty through and through. The taste pervades through and through. Rasa ghana or ananda ghana also. Rasa has the meaning of ananda also when it look is seen in the exemplified Brahma. Eva evam va. Are indeed in that manner. Are ayam atma. This atma is what anantara ha has no second. There is no inside outside division. Abai ha. has no within or outside krishna completely what it is pragnana ghana one homogeneous entity which is pragna ghana with homogeneous with what with pragnana with chaitanya eva indeed says the brahad shruti iti shruti that shruti says what that ghanatva ghanatva is that particular chaitanya ghanatva matra only chaitanya is there nothing else is there mixed up so you don't say that chaitanya is added on top when you say salt is added on top then you can say there is salt in the in the mix so there you can say in the mix you can say that okay upma is salty in one place in another place it is not salty but when the lump of salt itself is there you cannot say whether it is salty in one part or another part it is salt it's it's completely through and through salty similarly tanmatram is it's it, so, salt is what it is salty meaning what it is completely salt alone nothing else is there similarly here tanmatram shruti says that chaitanya matram eva there is nothing else other than chaitanya brahma is chaitanya so when you say nirvishesha means what it is chaitanya it does not have any achetana ajada uh, sorry achetana or jada mixed up there is no mix up and in one ausha there is chaitanya it is not so entirely brahma is nothing but consciousness that is the meaning there we'll see more in the next part आमनायंतिक संसिद्ध महादि मध्यांत वर्जित महानंद घन महापूर्ण आत्म ज्योतिर्पास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद धन्यवाद
नमस्ते